In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your page file size to increase your virtual memory. So I'll be demonstrating this on a Windows 11 computer, but this will also work for Windows 10 and below. Now, what we need to do is head over to our start menu and search for adjust the appearance and then click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. From this window, click on the advanced tab and then you need to come down to the section where it says virtual memory and click on the change button. Make sure this option at the top auto automatically manage paging file size. Make sure this is left unchecked like so. And then we're gonna come down and select custom size. Now we have two values that we need to enter here, both an initial size and also a maximum size. So I'm gonna be basing these numbers on Microsoft's official recommendations. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how much RAM we actually have installed on our computer. Now, if you're not sure, then you can just head over to your start menu and type in system information. And then from this window, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see installed physical memory and in brackets RAM. So on my computer, I have 24 gigabytes of RAM. So now what you need to do is open up a calculator on your computer. And what you need to do is type in the number of RAM that you have available on your computer. So for me, that's going to be 24. But if you have eight gigabytes of RAM, then obviously you'll just type in eight here. And now what we need to do is times this number by one megabyte. So click on the time symbol, and then we're going to type in 1024, which is one megabyte. And then we're going to times this again by 1.5 which is Microsoft's official recommendation for this initial size and press equals. So now we have this number 36,864. Yours may be different because you may have a different size RAM to me. So I'm just going to type in this number to the initial size here, 36864. And now we're going to work out the maximum size as well. So let's just reset our calculator. And now what we're gonna do is type in the number of RAM you have available again. So for me, that's going to be 24. And then we're going to time by one megabyte again, so 1024, and then times by, this time we're gonna click on three, and then hit enter. So now we've got this number, 73728. We're gonna enter that in the maximum size column here. And like I said, if you have a different number of RAM on your computer, then these numbers will be different to mine. So once you've entered these two amounts, click on the set button over here. Then you can click on OK, and finally click on OK. And now what you'll need to do is just restart your computer, and all of those changes will take effect and that's it guys if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one